In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an AI voiceover sound better. Let's hop in. Here I am in Adobe Audition with some generated voiceovers using my own cloned voice. If you'd like to check it out online, you can at mrc.fm forward slash AI Mike. So let's listen to what AI Mike has said. Heart 107.1. We play the best hits. And the Hot. best thing about this is that every time you generate a voiceover, it comes out differently. Hot. 107.1. We play the best hits. So lots to play with there. I've got two different samples. Let's look at AI1 and let's actually open up spectral frequency display so we can see what's going on. Now we can see actually this vocal generation is pretty decent. It cuts off at around 16,000 hertz, which is pretty high fidelity. So the quality of the voice is super good. But there are a few things we can do and I'll show you just how to beef up these voiceovers a little bit and maybe save it as a preset. So the first thing I'm going to do, first and foremost, I'm definitely going to use my marquee selection and check out this sibilance. Yes, even AI voiceovers create sibilance. You can hear that. Wow, it's pretty strong. I'm going to show you a laser cool way of setting up a de -esser on that S. Now you can see the main issue, the main bulk of the yellow is happening there. And, and now that I've highlighted the bad part, what I can actually do is set this up with precision by going into amplitude and compression, looking for my de -esser. And you'll see, if I play this on loop now, it's going to highlight the problem frequency. But I need to really zoom in. There we go. Now we got it. And then I can just move the center frequency around to be in the center of the problem and expand the bandwidth to make those lines wider until I'm literally right around the sibilant issue in my AI voice. Can't believe even AI has sibilance. Maybe one day AI will take care of that, huh? Right, let's see what the uh, current settings do with the threshold at minus 30. It's quite a strong one. That's over, that's 9 dB of gain reduction. So let's turn that threshold up a bit. Okay, and now let's listen to it in context. We play the best hits. Hot. Okay, so it's not doing anything at minus 70. We play the best hits. Hot. Okay, a little bit coming in. We play the best hits. Hot. Okay, that's cool. We play the best hits. I think we're getting a nice sibilance reduction there. We play the best hits. That's without. We play the best hits. On. Output the sibilance only. We play the best hits. Oh yeah, that's definitely hitting the sibilance, which is great. We can actually see if we go to before and after. Before is up here. After, greatly reduced that yellow region. So we've already de-essed our AI voiceover and made it sound a little bit better. Uh, next, I'm going to go along and I'm actually going to go ahead and do some EQ on this voice. So filter and EQ. Parametric equalizer, and just like a human voice, we can do all kinds of things like roll off the low end here with a high pass filter. We play the best hits. Let's push that up. We play the best hits. See, it thins it out. We play the best hits. So many effects that you can put on human voices, you can also do on AI voices. We play the best hit. 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 About we there. play the best hits. Now, of course, because it's an AI voice recording, we don't really have any background noise. Although you will see with that high pass filter, it does greatly reduce some of there's a little bit of low end rumble going on there, which is reduced here. Now, some of these AI technologies do actually put print a signature in the complete generated voiceover, uh, obviously for reasons of uh, being able to identify if it's an AI indeed that created the voice or not. So maybe rolling some of that off actually deletes some of that signature. I don't know. Fill me in on that on the comments. Then you can see the, the high end cuts off, like I said, around 16,000. But we can definitely give a high end boost. We play the best hits. We play the best hits. And that's quite nice. I might actually make this a little bit wider so we cover a wide range of the high end. We play the best hits. And we can actually use a low pass filter to just really uh, cut down. And I'm going to make this a very uh, tight cut off at the top here. Just really cut down on anything we don't need at the top. We play the best hits. That's quite nice. And then I can actually notch in on some of the more gravelly or weird frequencies in the voice. We play the best hits. We play the best hits. Heart. 107.1. We play the best hits. Heart. 107.1. We. All right, let's just drag that out a little bit. So we'll drag that down. We play the best. We play the best hits. And maybe just move out a little bit around. 1K. We play the best hit. We play the best. Actually, around 1k, around 2 to 3k. Let's go somewhere further up. We play the best hits. Okay, so without. We play the best hits. It's kind of 
muddy and low end. We play the best hits. Much crisper now with the EQ. The de is in play as well. You can see how much uh, improved that's already looking. We could add a little bit of compression at this stage. Maybe we're going to do more if we take this into multi-track. But for now, let's do amplitude and compression. Let's add a little bit of dynamics. And we'll go to default settings, switch on the compressor. Threshold of minus 20 is good. A ratio, let's go of three. Leave everything as default. We play the best hits. Okay, that's significantly reduced the volume of my voice. Maybe gonna take that to 2.5 ratio. We play the best hits. A little less on the compressor there, and maybe push the threshold up so it's not so harsh. We play 15. the best hits. That's not too bad. And then push the makeup gain up. We play the best hit. And try and hit the limiter a bit. We play the best hit. Okay, it's hitting the limiter. Let's put it down. We play the best. Down. We play the best hits. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. And now I'm going to save that as my AI voice better. Okay, that's made an AI voice better. I can apply that to this voiceover recording and look at the difference it made. Actually, we've got a really nice waveform there as compared to AI2, which I haven't altered. Again, I can quickly recall that preset that I saved AI voice better there. Brings them all up in my effects rack and boom. That's really cool. And then if I wanted to go further, I could create a multi-track session, drag in these wonderful AI clips, and I could start actually iterating to make my own jingle, which is really cool. So I could just maybe mix together the hot, which is interesting. Hot. That's nice. And actually what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pan uh, left and right the hot. So let's put this one over to the right a bit, and let's put this one over to the left a bit. Hot. 107. 107. That's nice. And then I think we're going to stick with AI1 for the rest of the jingle. So let's use another track. Uh, maybe here we'll insert a little bit of filtering cue. Scientific filter. We'll go for maybe knock off below 250 hertz. Hot. 107.1. That's nice. Hot. 107.1. And then we'll put this one in at the end, maybe with a little bit of chorus. So we've got a really nice dry AI voiceover. Uh, so let's go to uh, actually modulation chorus. Here we go. And we go for uh, maybe something like a rich chorus. Point one. We, we play, play the best hits. hits. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Maybe we'll just go for the default. Point one. We, we play the best hits. That's quite nice. Give it a bit of space to Point breathe. one. We, we play the best hits. And then down here on the mix track, the final track, I'm going to add my AI voice better uh, improvement again. Hot. 107.1. We, we play the best hits. And there you go. You've got a really cool sounding AI voice that has been fully produced in just a few minutes inside Adobe Audition. That is how you make AI voiceovers sound better. If you've got any questions, do let me know in the comments down below. And if you're interested in AI technology and generating voices and things like that, you should definitely watch this video on your screen next.